I don't know if you guys ever realized, but the lake at one point never really looked like this. It used to be vastly different, like different in so many ways different. Like that area over there it used to connect to this conduit right here. And so there was a massive amount of lane that connected to this or extended a little bit over there, I think. Not really where the conduit is, but where like the beacon kind of is. And then this lake, it was never this deep. It used to be way higher. It used to be like three blocks deep maybe or whatever. And then the river over there just didn't look as cool. And then right over there, like the, the edges of the lake or shoreline, whatever you want to call it, wasn't as good as that. Like or as detailed, I would say. But now... We have a lot of progress that has been made on the lake through the past season. And today, I think we're going to help finalize what the lake actually should look like. So we're going to take a dive into another wonderful episode of Afterlife SOP. I do hope you guys do enjoy as we have a lot of stuff in store where we're going to be working on this lake and then also possibly some shady business deals and whatnot. But without further ado, let's take a dive first off let's take that off you guys can't really see the rest of my skin but if you look at the tablets i have my diving helmet on and my diving suit and we're gonna help make this lake a little bit prettier and then so let's take a dive why not do something a little bit different and that is doing a commentary over this time lapse instead instead of just playing some music and letting you guys kind of drift away uh but i figure i would take the opportunity to say that i'm very proud of all the afterlife members and afterlife in general if you guys don't know afterlife is now at 16 total members which is an unfathomable number for us and if you guys don't know, season three of Afterlife kind of started off as a meme. We were kind of joking about bringing Afterlife back and like then we started the season with six people. And then for a while, we really didn't get any new people. And then eventually we did and we slowly, slowly, like exponentially started growing to the point now we have like all these new creators that are doing their awesome do justice by bringing in their personality, their role play, their redstone, their building skills like all these high quality creators just pumping out content which is a great thing to see and just like shocking to me like that we were able to do it now unlike any other season well like when you compare us to other seasons it's like this is such a vastly different season and i don't know it's very weird but i'm very proud of it it's like nice to be able to say that i'm proud of afterlife i mean not saying that i wasn't beforehand but like even more prouder now it's like a dad moment when you're like proud of watching your kid kind of grow up right in front of you not saying that i'm a dad but like just being able to witness this and be a part of it too has just been nice but i also wanted to iterate during this moment that there are five new members we have kyle blaine plays we have winter tooth 100 we also have i'm named gamer aka g to the p we have puffing fish hq and then lastly we have jagir as five of the new people that have joined in the past two three weeks so i highly recommend that you guys go check them out in the description down below in the pinned comment too because i am not able to cover all the content that they're producing in my videos because of how often i produce but they all produce high quality videos so go check them out and don't forget to check out all the other afterlife members too because they're doing great stuff and i just want to iterate that and plus we did we just did a streamathon too which was even crazier it was our first one i think it was highly successful it was a lot of fun and i think a lot of people can argue that so i just wanted to say that to you guys that afterlife is doing a lot of great things and i'm very proud of it and i'm glad to have you guys as a community too and i will let you guys get back to the rest of the video despite this being like oddly placed ah so this is what vacation feels like we're by palm trees we're under a nice umbrella while also getting our tan on and then also we can smell the nice campfire over there we can tell campfire stories and whatnot hang out with some friends we even got a grill going on in the background where we can smell the fresh beef cooking on the grill man lovely and not only that but we have a nice view right here like can you deny this like you get to see everything you get to be by everything you're at the heart of spawn and then not only that we can swim in it we're even wearing our crocs so we can protect our little feet from any sharp objects or just rocks in general we know how people are you know sometimes they can be a little bit careless but we can swim around the water check out the nice sea life that we have under here i know at one point there were even dolphins but for some reason they keep disappearing so it's a little bit odd don't mind the sewers it's still it's still a great place to swim 
And we even have this sea monster right here, which is kind of cool. It's like nice little way to like look back at the past and what could have been here at one point. And wait, is that is that a person in there? Hold up, we gotta check this out. Hello? Oh. He looks like he's been in here for a hot minute. Wait, he has a book too. Uh, how do I take it from you without breaking your arm off? Let's see. Maybe we can pull like an Indiana Jones type deal where we like switch the item out. Okay. Oh, a trader's diary. I couldn't believe it. With my own good eyes, I saw it. Okay, a little bit of a weird start, but you know, we'll take it. It was June 22nd. I was sealing the seas to deliver my freshly grown peanuts to the man himself. Oogie, the Swans of Hicklebottom. Okay, I don't know any of those peoples in... Or well, any... In, oh, I don't know that person. In Grown Peanuts. Okay, interesting. I faced a long trip. Okay, you ended on that. Interesting. Whether it was the hot, dreary days, the rough waves, the cacaws from birds, the temptation from mer turtles, I don't know what that is either, and more. I thought the waves I was experiencing like any other were normal. But sure, was I wrong here. Water was beginning to be spouted everywhere in large amounts. There was no way it was normal, but something mystical at play. It was soon too late for me and my little boat, Hansel. Hansel? Hansel? Something? I don't know. The poor peanuts too. We took on too much water and eventually I was swallowed whole. Now I live in this. If you are reading this book, please remember what legacy I had, as my name is, uh, is the page just gonna end right here? Like, is it, like, come on now. You just gonna leave me hanging? Like, I was w waiting for the name, like, I don't know, maybe the sea monster tore the page, maybe kind of, like, got watered down or something, but, like, come on, you just let the story end like that? Well, I guess I'll give you your diary back, I'll take my table back. Um, you can enjoy your stay here, and I guess this will be like a little historic thing behind you. Uh, but we'll, we'll move back to what we were doing, enjoying ourselves at the beach, at the lake, you know, swimming around, doing our thing. So, besides us doing a fun little skit with a, a person supposedly dying in a sea creature, we are going to be adding one more thing to this area. So, you're probably seeing this barrel over here, and you're like... A little bit of an odd place to just leave a barrel like you really just gonna leave it there like really you're not gonna like move it or get rid of it eradicate it that kind of deal well I thought we could add one more thing to this area and that is going to be I don't know if you guys can tell a tiki bar because I feel like that's something that belongs over here where it's going to be selling coconut milk at the price of free yes I said it it is going to be free. I know that's a little bit crazy since typically I'm the man who wants all the diamonds on the server. And this time I'm allowing people to take it for free because, well, it doesn't really have any like special effects, I guess. Um, so I figured why not? And then also it's just kind of like a little thing to add to the area and like make it even more crazy or like better or um, exotic or more of a beach area because like you can't go without having a tiki bar at a beach I feel like like it's a neat thing to add I feel like and okay I can't do that so it's a little bit annoying so just like that we have the tiki stand officially completed now so the idea behind it is that we wanted to do something that actually created the effect of one and typically tiki stands kind of have like uh, a, a roof to it that you can kind of see the sky sometimes where it's like made out of hay or a bunch of twigs and I feel like campfires do the best job with that the only one complaint I wish is that I had for campfires is that it can be placed on the upper half of the slab instead of the bottom half that way we can do a little bit more detailing for it so since we couldn't do that that's why I integrated the leaves to kind of make it look a little bit more detailed added some vines to it there should be some vines growing on the side maybe right here and then we have it growing over here we might add some oh it already does have vines right here but they're not growing so we're just kind of playing the waiting game. If not, then I'll just manually place them later. Uh, one of the other things that we have to do is place some lanterns. So that way it kind of has the feeling that there is some light coming in from it. And I don't really want it right... Mm -hmm. 
I guess we'll do it right there. And we don't really want it to all look like it's being a diagonal, so we'll just hide this one over here. That way it kind of has some lighting to it, or we might actually remove that one as it's not really needed. But I do think it looks really nice. We have these sea pickles as cups. We have a flower in the back. And then we have a bunch of our coconut milk, which some of them are expired. Some of them are French. And then some of them are just normal coconut milk. So it's a neat little thing. We also did this little trick with the trap door with birch and then also the item frame. Because that wood matches up with that. So it kind of looks nice too. And it makes a little bit more sense. It kind of looks like a little cushion and i think we did a decent job now probably the only last thing that we have to do is place the sign on the barrel saying free coconut milk from jay's tiki stain so let's get that done now we have one last thing that we got to do and that is apply the dye to the sign and yeah it kind of pops out i'm not sure if that really worked i might have used the wrong dye my intention was to use white dye but that doesn't really uh stand out as much but it kind of works and then we got to put our sea pickle back on here because i accidentally broke the barrel when i was breaking the sign to redo the sign so yeah not not the greatest but i think this area overall looks pretty good uh, we could probably put some stuff on the back of these item frames kind of look like that it's a branded thing or like maybe like we could put a cocoa bean on there or something that way it kind of resemble mm, i don't think the item actually looks like that so i don't know how we'll make coconuts maybe we'll just take a stupid flower pot and put it on here and rename it as like jay's tiki stain or something and that's what we'll do but i think it works out we even got a smelly little trash can over here too that adds to the area to kind of create that effect of tourists just not really caring about the environment in that kind of general sense but i think we got a good job over here and we'll see what else we got so wherever you looked what's your problem again I looked at my base. I I I'm lo I lost my toolbox with all my tools in it. And mm -hmm. like my everything. <laughs> and yeah. I lost my valuable box which has like all my diamonds, my emeralds. Mhm. Mm my food. Yeah. My... Where have you looked? So I looked at now the Enderman farm, the my base. Uh, my boat. One other place. Oh, uh, Team Turtle HQ, because I was over there. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at my spawn house yet. That's like the only place I haven't looked at. I could have sworn I put them in here last night. Oh, and I wanted to check Hugh's base, too. Interesting. Because I was over there last night. Getting tools out and everything. Um, uh, Mr. Skunk, do I have an appointment? Okay. This blonde skunk? Oh, you do? Yeah, I have an appointment right now. Why? I have an I'm appointment. I'm kind of busy. I have an appointment? You have an appointment? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I have an appointment. Skunk. Okay. Come on, I have an appointment. Ugh, what? I have an appointment. Can I be seen to you by your receptionist? Jay, I don't want to make this voice right now. <laughs> Come on now, do it. <laughs> Oh, hi, honey. How you doing? Welcome back. Oh, oh you're a different receptionist. I wasn't expecting oh, yeah. this. This is Deborah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This doesn't sound like a Deborah, but we'll go with yeah. it. This is a Deborah. Yes. So um, I have an appointment with Blonde Skunk in the office back there right now. Yeah. So can 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 I have my meeting with him? Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah. We get, give you the files. That here you go. Take that back to him, okay. please, for me. Okay. Thank you. Is he already back here? Oh, uh, he's going back. He'll be back there in a little bit. How long do you think I have to wait? Oh, hi, Jay. Oh, hey, Skunk. So, um, I hear that you're way. having a problem right now. Yes, I'm missing my two shulker boxes that I've... I've. They have all my valuables in it, and I'm having... Why do you have my two shulker boxes? So, I've acquired... <laughs> A orange shulker box named Toolbox and a purple shulker box named The Goods. Where'd you get these? So, I was at the Enderman farm yesterday and <laughs> I was I was fixing my elytra up, my pickaxe, because I was hard at work in the spawn lake and I noticed there were two shulker boxes right next to the enchantment table and I was like, these can't be mine. Like, 
did I really place them? Like, did I forget mine? Like, because I was, you know, I make the end city armor stuff. So I was like, are these mine? I looked inside and what do we have here? We got some goodies, all right. We got some diamonds, some tools. We got everything. Uh huh. So, you know, yeah. that's why I asked you, how many diamonds do you have, skunk? That's why <laughs> I sent you on this little scavenger hunt to find <laughs> your stuff. So, I mean, I did start recording it a little bit late. Um, but that's mm -hmm. why I started asking you to recount what you did. Because, well, I didn't record that part, but now I have it. <laughs> you got me. So, yeah. I mean, I got myself. Because I left my shulker boxes at the end of the farm, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, Man. technically, so, finder keepers, so losers. Uh... No, 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 you gotta give me my shulker boxes back. <laughs> Those are my most valuable. Hey, listen, if it was the one that was like, uh, the, just the one that's filled with stone or. Yeah, but you see, I would have just gave that back easily. Like, who cares about that? But I mean, you see, Skunk, you're wearing a head. I'm wearing a head. Oh, right, right. So, yeah. I mean, if I give you this, you know, we got to be on good terms. I mean, we are good terms. I thought, you know. Kind of, kind we of. were. Kind of, kind of. You know, you were you were airdropping people like G.I. Joe style on top of my house. You know, you were doing some other crazy things, framing me for blowing up or setting the jungle sanctuary on fire like why would i do that to my own kind i'm oh, sorry sorry i didn't mean to punch you i'm clicking See, back now you're even truck. punching me like <laughs> i'm sorry that was a bad time like okay. you, you have to remember i'm the one with your stuff here yeah my stuff is safe your stuff isn't so you know if i give you you know your stuff back you know this is just like a little bit of like showing what team panda pals has to offer Okay. And you know that we're not so bad after all, right? Okay. Yeah, you're not. No, I. Okay, listen. I'm listening. Right. I have said. Uh huh. Quite recently that. Uh huh. I've said I was sorry. Oh, are video, you? That I'm sorry for framing you guys. And mm -hmm. I, we, took, we took responsibility. I, I, we, I mean, we took action. We took action. We closed down the factories. One's overgrown over there. So, I mean, like. I mean, things, it's, it's, nature is taking over once again. So, but, we're taking responsibility but, for everything. But, you know, you tried to eliminate my kind from spawn. Do you not, do you not see anything wrong with that? What, what, what are we referring to? <laughs> the panda pesticides. Oh, uh, well. You used freaking G.I. Joe's on me. You put factories right next to a panda sanctuary. Like, who does that? Are you like? Okay, well, listen. The, the sanctuary afterwards. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, I mean, listen. Okay. It was it was a bit harsh. I'll be honest. Everything mm. we did was a little bit. You know, we 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 felt like we we're being kind of like attacked, right? Like, have have we done anything to you specifically that was like desperately so bad? Like, come on, Skunk. I mean, quarantine us. Quarantine for the betterment of society. But for what, though? Uh, we found some highly, you know, dosed Pepega levels in your household, so we had to make sure that it didn't spread, and, you know, we, we quarantined the problem, we eliminated the problem, all that's resolved, and, you know, Listen. you were free, and then Listen. you were, you, you came back with tanks, Right. Okay. All right. That you was... interrupted our Panda Prime deliveries, causing pandas to, you know, go all over the place. Like, come on now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can have your stuff back. Everything should be there. I didn't touch anything. I just held on to the boxes and just wanted to see you be a little bit frantic. And Hold on, I gotta, I gotta make sure that everything. Okay. Okay. And just wanted to okay. shoot, show you what you know. Team Panda Palace has to offer. You know, we're not we're not horrible. Why don't we end this? This dispute. Uh, we can we can leave it at this for now, but we can come back to another discussion. I still need to have talks with my Panda Pals about this, but you know, this All can right. be 
a start Fine. of something good. Okay. Sound good? Okay. All right. That's all right. That sounds like we're on good terms, I guess. So let's just back out of the room very slowly over there. Yeah. Uh, I'll let Deborah see me out. Deborah. Okay. Where is I, she I at? come with I'm just making a cup of coffee over here. I just make a go a cup of coffee. Hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, Deborah, hey. Where, where, where's my hey. coffee at? Oh, right here. I put it right here on the table for you. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, with have you. a have a great day. Travel. Yeah, you have a great, fantastic day. Beautiful day. It's a lovely weather out there. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Deborah, look at that. Just shut it. Lovely. Shut it. Ooh, yes. Yeah, so good. Yes. Yeah, so great. <laughs> yep. Oh, I love that panda. Ooh, he's hot. Man, you guys, it's been so nice now that Team Turtle's being nice to us. Yeah, I know. It's so relaxing. Just be yeah. able to relax, be some bros, and just kind of get close and personal with each other. Yeah. But I think this basically marks the end of Team Panda. We're no longer needed anymore. We've done our purpose of making the server a better place, protecting people from Team Turtle, and making Team Turtle turn a new leaf. Yeah, right? I agree. You, what are your thoughts? I think they team turned a new leaf. Okay. And so I think we're go uh, good friends now. Yeah, so they've agreed to, you know, not target us. They've agreed to be nice, and I believe some of them plan on departing from Team Turtle. I don't know about some of the others, but I think we're going to be able to relax in peace now. You know, go back to the old ways. Like, just chillax. Um, you can go back to making your anime girl on top of your base or whatever. Mario can go back to playing CSGO in a free time, and then I can just Heck go yeah. back to sitting on this beach. That's wonderful. Now that sounds like a plan. So, I guess we'll have to part ways now. Uh, we can still hang out, of course, but, you know, officially under Team Panda, we don't have to be under Team Panda anymore. Yeah. Okay. So, you can yeah. just keep the heads as, like, mementos of, you know, what was. I guess we can go back to our old ways of doing whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed your time on Team Panda, and you guys were the only Team Panda members for me. The Panda Pals. <laughs> the true Panda Pals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were. Pew, why aren't you crying? You look so angry. Pew, please. Guys, Team Panda is gone. Can we play the crab music song? Team Panda's dead. Hey. Hey. Hello there. Oh, hey, Puffing Fish. I wasn't expecting you. I was just checking out the stock on my shop since, you know, we have all you new members buying me out. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I have a need for shulker boxes because I'm trying to get a lot of sand. And I'm hoping to get around 30 shulker boxes. But 30. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit steep. Oh, well, I mean, it's a lot of diamonds for me, right? So I do have a promo three diamonds a box if you buy after more than three boxes. But I'm imagining that's probably a little bit too much for you. Yeah, you see, I am running real low. I spent a lot of diamonds at this shop, and oh, I like I only have 21 left. Ooh. Uh, but I think uh. I can provide you with the service of redstone. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've been doing a lot. Oh, I mean, you do a lot of redstone in your other areas of need. And I do think I have something that I could use from you. So if you follow me, um, hopefully okay. it doesn't stay dark for too long. But I guess it won't matter. We're going to the sewer. So I was hoping that you can help make this complicated thing for me in redstone because I have no clue how any of this works. I don't even know how a comparator works. But I was wondering if you can make me like a password protected like piston door thingamajigger where like you throw an item on the ground and then maybe like hit some buttons afterwards by going into the next area that has buttons on it for you to enter and then once you get past that then it allows you into the actual area uh yeah as long as there's a lot of room that we can dig out behind it we should be fine yes everything behind this should be free real estate hopefully if not then we're going to tell them the lead bamboozle because this is my like very major work right here that we got going on so okay yeah i could do that um it's gonna be a lot so 
Hmm. I don't know. That's that's a lot of work. How how much how much time do you think you would reckon it would take for you? Mm, maybe five hours of just doing redstone, and oh, that that's not like including. A pain. Oh, yeah. So you said you only have twenty one diamonds. So I think we can make a sweet deal, where I won't charge you. Period. Besides, just for the redstone service, and I'll give you all the shulker boxes for free. And then you know maybe if you need more, depending on how well the job is, um, I can help work it out for you, where I give you more free shulker boxes and whatnot. So I don't know. Does that sound like a plan to you? That sounds like a really great plan, and I think I can pro I can provide my services very well. Okay, well, in this current time, I will provide you 30 chests and 60 shells. That should hopefully be enough, unless I did my math wrong, but I don't know. I'm pretty Take sure that's about dispute. right, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like, okay. But yeah, if you ever need more, you know, I'd be happy to accommodate you or provide that for you. I mean, you're doing you're going to be doing a lot of great work for me, so this should be exciting. Now, the thing is, I also will need the redstone components supplied. I will supply you with the list as soon as I can. Okay. And then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, that sounds good. Hmm. A beautiful day in the morning, but wait, what is that sound at my door? Hmm, let's go take a look. Wait, the door is opening on and off. Wait, is this the work of the madman redstoner himself mr g to the p i think he's pulling some april fool stuff on us i cannot believe what he is doing to us like i'm about to be a paying customer to me and this is how he treats me he just does this hmm i think he also did this to the other members too and it's like I mean, I'll take the free stuff, but I mean, I don't really know how it works, to be honest, but I'll take it. So it appears G to the P did this to all of the builds at spawn. I'm not really too sure if he did it to other people, but it appears he did it to me at least. I think he did it to some other shops. I think he took care of his. White shop is still doing it. This has to be the most atrocious sounds, and I can't believe he would do this to us. Like... I'm going to be a paying customer to him, and, like, this is really gonna how you start April Fool's Week with us? Like, come on, GP. You're better than this. Obviously, while we're here, since I just fixed the problem, we might as well check out how the shop is doing. Uh, so, let's see. A lot of the shulker boxes are gone. I don't think anything really changed over here that much. Elytra seems to have gone down. Somebody bought something. And then it appears somebody rented some tools, so that's pretty nice. Oh, hello. So we did have somebody actually return their stuff already, so that's pretty neat. But look at all these diamonds. So this is just from one shot. Uh, I guess we can tally it up in the blocks. Why not? Oh, crud. That is a lot. And we gotta go check this other shop. I don't think this other shop is as booming as the other shop because Ash was competing with us for mending. So now we had to lower our prices. But ever since I lowered our prices, he disappeared. So kind of waiting to see what else happens. But uh, there was three diamonds left over from what I made. So that's 17 diamond blocks. So in total, if we total it all out, it is 45 diamond blocks plus one. And... I don't know if you guys remember, but I was talking about how I wanted to make a diamond beacon. Well, we passed that before I started looking at all my finances. And well, we passed that before we started doing all this. And we're officially at three diamond block stacks. Like, a lot of people say I'm a hoarder on the server. I like to think I'm not. I do pay my fair share of diamonds to people whenever I get the chance, but it's a little bit hard when prices are so cheap. So, I mean, I don't think I'm that bad. I mean, I'm a highly big supporter of NASA over here. I gave Skunk a bunch of diamond blocks for helping me out at the spawn lake um, regarding the dolphins and then other things too. But you see GP, G to the P mentioned on his stream that I don't do enough at Hoard, oh, I, I hoard my diamonds and I don't really share my diamonds with people. So I figure I would take the chance to visit his shop as I have a shopping list at what I need to buy for the piston uh, two pass 
protected piston door that is located in the sewers or some future stuff. And it appears we can leave a testimonial for roleplay purposes, so that should be a bit interesting. It looks like all the diamonds are out once again, so I'm a little bit concerned about that since Hugh is able to have a bunch. And, okay, I might sue you because I couldn't get in. What do we have here? We got some redstone at Hugh's witch shop, so he's advertising somebody else, but... This is a pretty neat way to access stuff, I guess. Uh, it says three diamonds per stack, but I don't think we need that. It appears we need redstone dust, which I think I should be good on. We need redstone repeater, so this is this one. And we need approximately 68 of them. to the P is going to be making 25 diamonds off of me if I did the math correctly. So hopefully he now thinks I'm just not hoarding diamonds, but you know, it's just a bit difficult to hand out diamonds when everybody has cheap prices. So here you go, G to the P. I hope you enjoy that. So one of these other places that we have to pay a visit to is the Honey Pot Shop made by Artorian and also in partnership with KB. And I don't think you guys have seen this for me. Maybe you guys have seen it from the other Afterlife members. But uh, let's see. So we needed to buy, I believe, honey blocks, if I recall correctly. And we only needed two. So it's one diamond per two stacks. So if we crack out our safe right here, uh, can I place it anywhere? Uh, let's see. So is it was it one diamond? Oh wait, one diamond for 16 blocks, so I think we'll be a little bit more generous and just buy a bunch. So, no, actually, we, we'll just buy out two more stacks, so that way we can have, like, a little bit extra and over a stack for them. And we'll just throw that right in there. Appreciate the business, Artorby and KB, and hopefully more is to come for you guys from me soon. So in all, we got this shulker box right here for all the blocks that Puffing Fish will need to make the password protected doors in the sewers that will lead to a wonderful roleplay area that we'll be working out at some point. So hopefully this does show that, you know, we're willing to spend some diamonds, of course. It just depends on the shop. And then, of course, it's not really that hard for me to not break bank because, well... When you have this many diamonds, it's really not that hard to just like spend a little bit and then still get a lot, especially at some of these shops where it's like you can get so much for so little. And it's like I don't do redstone, so it's like, you know, maybe some of these things can last me forever. Maybe for some other people, they spend it like it's nothing. So I'm just one of those people where I might not be your target demographic. And I'll be getting the shulker box on over to Puffing Fish real soon. I know he's on, so I'll probably just hand this over to him and tell him he can get started whenever he wants. So that should be exciting stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a bad day. I went to deliver the goods to Puffing Fish here, this shulker box. And it happened to be nighttime. And... I noticed there was a creeper inside his house. I even typed the puffing fish. I was like, there's a creeper upstairs, by the way. And then the creeper came down. I bowed the creeper. I swiped at the creeper. And I died from the creeper. Just like that, I had my first death. A little bit unfortunate. It's not really the way I wanted to go out. Because I had other plans for getting that first death. And... In a way, it kind of ruins some things because now the head is off and I'm not really sure, though so I don't know what else to say or do, um, but Skunk is officially the winner of the contest of not dying, I guess, technically, and Jagiru is technically the winner too at the moment, but it's a bit a bit unfortunate. I didn't want it to be that way. I didn't think it would be this way. And I don't know. A little bit disappointed. So while we're on this solemn note, Mr. Puffing Fish here gave me this gift, the blue pass, and I believe it's supposed to allow me to have free access or maybe a one-time access to 
this upcoming farm that he's making in the nether where it's supposed to be like an easy way of killing wither skeletons and getting coal and blaze rods maybe i'm not too fully sure what it entirely deals with but that's what he seems to be hinting at and i don't know it's a little bit sad to just look at this counter now and just see a one by my name after so long and having different ways of getting this so-called one um we can even look at our statistics now to just see that it's been a mere 11 minutes since the first death and to see everything else like the amount of game time i mean i'm sure not all this is fully accurate because i mean i'm sure some of it's just me screwing around but like you know we have a lot of stuff and i don't know a little bit interesting to think that this is the way but congrats once again to skunk and we'll see well i think we gotta pay a visit to the town hall i think skunk was telling me that he was gonna be in here in one of the chats since i got my first death which is a bit unfortunate um he told me he was supposed to be meeting me out front so i'm not sure where he's at or hello uh hello is hello is there... where you at skunk up, up here what do you mean up here like are you in I, town top, hall? top of town hall look all the way up buddy is that you Mm -hmm. Is that really you? What are you doing Hold up on, there, I can't Skunk? See you. Oh, you're sitting like a little ant down there. What are you doing up there? Hey, what happened to your head, bud? Um, ran into some unfortunate times, Skunk. What are you doing mm. up there? Well, the I kind of felt bad about that. I did see that on our Discord messages. And um I thought to officially end the war, I would take off this turtle helmet and the only way to do that is to actually uh you know skunk don't. you don't have to do that you, you you can keep it on you don't have to die just because yeah, i die does I not mean you have to die skunk i have to i have this is this is the only way jay this is the only way out of it jay this is the only <laughs> no, way skunk <laughs> skunk This wasn't the way. What am I going to do now? Okay, Skunk. So I asked you to come back to have a second chance at life in the afterlife. And we both officially have our first death now. If we look at the tab yes. list, we are yes. both free from our teams. And yes. I just wanted to give you something since you officially won the death game. Here you go. Oh my way! There you 32 go, Skunk. Thirty-two blocks. You officially won, so I'm I mean, I'm begifting that to you. It is true. Oh, thank you. And I would hope that we're able to do stuff together now, like go into business together, maybe make oh, some yes. mini games, etc. Yeah, so, we got you know. plans. We got plans. Now we're not conflicting. Oh. Yep. Now, now we, we can, can be. be now we can be friends. That doesn't sound too good. Now we can be together. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just awesome. wanted to give you that. Send you on your little way. Congratulations, lot. Mr. Skunk. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? That's well, a lot of diamonds Skunk, right do you there. want to take a look at my bank account? I would, uh, you know what? Okay, that maybe not for you. <laughs> yeah, so I, I had three stacks, and then I gave you That's half crazy. a stack, so. Okay, well, now I have a stack. That's fantastic. Yep, now now just don't be, you know, called out for being greedy now or hoarding diamond blocks. So, mm -hmm. you know, just true, be true. be aware of that. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds awesome. Well, yeah, thanks, but... congrats, Skunk. It's unfortunate to hear about your first death, but, I mean, at least you're free now. And... I think that had to be the way, you know. So. Yeah, it's probably for the best. We're all free now. We're all free. Yep. Ew, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>